talk about is the high bot. That's why I have these. I'm not rich, so I don't have the actual thing. I wish I was, but no. Just me. The high bot is a robotic snake that, if there's a submarine failure, you can map around the person and shoot upward so that the person can have enough oxygen. Then it'll go down and do it like 20 times. Because there's going to be a lot of them. Like 20 Oh, the bad thing about the high bot is it'll be eaten by big predators and well, it'll kill the predators because it's water and electricity obviously don't mix. So, yeah. Also, we have unmanned vehicles over here, which if someone in war is um, needing some support and they call for some support and nobody can come to save them in time, they would send an unmanned vehicle to come and save them. And if it gets shot down, don't worry, there's nobody inside, so it's good. Uh, if the unmanned vehicle does get shot down, they do the needs. Robot medics. Uh, either they drag people, which I don't like, so I got that picture. They actually pick up the person. So they pick up the person and hand them to the medic. What made you think of this? Uh, I did a presentation in the beginning and that was it. Well, we both agreed on this, doing robots to save lives because we both know a lot about it. And it's awesome. So it's an interest that you had already. Huh? It was an interest that you had already and you decided to explore it and yeah. make something. Yeah. So how do you feel about school doing a project like this? I think it's really important that they do this. Why? Because instead of people just being like, oh, I'm a lazy couch potato, I'm just watching TV, they could be like, I'm an engineer. I made robots that save people's lives. In your face, you lazy couch potato. That's that always good. You. And how do you feel about school doing projects like this? Um, it's pretty good. It's kind of stressful at the same time because you have to work on it day, night, anything, and it's pretty cool that, like, if people, if you actually make this in the future, people won't look at you thinking that you are a couch potato. Do you see yourself going into a career of robotics, possibly? Yeah. yeah. I can see myself doing it. I can see myself working hard day and night, anything. I, but I also have a lot of other options. I'm an archaeologist, paleontologist, geologist, astronomer, woodcarver, and robotic engineer. And those are all science and engineering and they fit into STEM so the, perfectly. Those are all my jobs that I have. Nice.